The tourism industry is one of the most lucrative industries in all the 47 counties and nationwide. Kakamega County is one such county. Established under the fourth schedule of the Kenyan Constitution, the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Tourism in Kakamega County has made major milestones through the Directorates of Tourism, Industrialization, Trade and Enterprise Development. The Ministry has established 12 modern markets in all the 12 sub-counties. This is a very important sector in that we want our citizens to be self-reliant to do business, small businesses, and therefore we have built modern uh, markets in every sub-county for this purpose. We have also come up with, uh, with the small kiosks, modern kiosks, so that Chuanaichi can use it. And we are now in the process of making sure that Chuakalis come together under a common place, and we are, supposed, uh, we are supposed to support them in those particular places so that they are able to do their business without much problem. Trade and Enterprise Development uh, Directorate uh, has had a key achievement since the beginning of devolution uh, where it focused on infrastructure development to develop uh, markets and uh, under the infrastructure development to develop markets the, the, the department has been able to uh, establish 12 modern markets in all the 12 sub-counties and uh, seven of them are already in operation and five are under completion to be completed before May uh, the year 2019. Uh, we have been able to come up with uh, uh, modern kiosks which are 625 in number at the moment and we are hoping that in this financial year we'll be able to add on an additional 50 uh, which will be done um, in the next few months so that we can be able to serve the infrastructure of one engine. We have uh, established several modern markets. Seven of them are complete. The seven which are complete include Chianda modern market, Muluanda modern market, Matunda modern market, we have Arambe modern market, we have Butere market, Nambale and uh, lastly Butali market. These facilities have accommodated 1,700 business people. There are others which are ongoing, which are five. This include Bukura Modern Market, Mumiasi Market, Nambacha Market, and Malinya Market. Kipkaren is also another market that's also being constructed. When these modern markets are constructed, every sub county will be having one a modern market and they'll accommodate more than 2,500 business people. Mweshimua weekly if I to Paranya Governor Wetu, I met Saidia. Kitambo hapo tulikuwa tunashida, tunanyeshe mboi kianza kunyesha, tunanyeshewa, tunabitu zetu zinaharibika, ukiona kama nyanya hivi mboi kinyesha zinaharibika kama ziko hapo inje, tulikuwa na shida sana. Ikifika wakati wa usiku watu kuwa na ta, saizi governor metuletea ta, tunayeza huza hata mpaka saa ina usiku. Sisi maali hapa, tunashukurani kubwa sana, kukutengenesewa ta, pamocha na soko yetu, imekuwa mzuri. Tunaka paka late hours do tunatoka kwa soko hata saa hii watu kwa soko paka saa 3 saa 4 ndio tunatoka kwa soko uh, our aim is to have a hundred of them over the period of four, five years uh, at the moment uh, we are on 76 and you can see we have achieved more than 50% and and by the end of by 2022 we will have more most major markets will have lights where people can do their business up to very late without any problem. Nashukuru sana mwishimiwa governor oparanya. Hametuekea hapa ta ambao ni mulika muizi. Na imetusaidia sana mara nyingi. Kumekua na mambo ya wizi na mambo ya kuto kwelewana hapa sokoni. Lakini wakati time ingia hapa na muangaza wake. Ninaona kasi yake inakuwa nyepesi, especially na pofanya kasi ya security mahali hapa. In its One Village One Product Initiative, the ministry has established a dairy industry in Malava and intends to build a tea factory in Shinyalu and industrial park in Mumias West sub-county to accommodate different types of industries. It also intends to set up Juakali centers in each of the 12 sub-counties to tap into the youth program. In the industrialization sector, uh, we are planning to have a milk plant constructed in Malaba. We are also planning to construct a tea factory in, in Shinyalu. And lastly, as we open the rural areas, 
I'm very optimistic that we shall attract other industries in the sub-counties. As a ministry, we would also be able to put up the Juakali centers in each of the 12 sub-counties so that we can tap into the current uh, youth program that is being done at the county so that the youth ones have been able to be trained in the polytechnics, polytechnics have a place in which they can be able to exercise and be able to do uh, what they have been trained in the polytechnics. We've also been able to add in additives in the markets to have a distinct feature in each of the markets using the One Village, One Product initiative. We are we are looking at the growth of industries in Kakamega, which is under the Big Four uh, agenda. And under the Big Four agenda, we've been able to identify uh, industries which are actually agri-based and also energy-related. And key to these industries that we want to establish in the county is uh, the dairy industry, which will be done in Malava sub-county. We are already at that advanced stage where we have already the diagrams and the BQs ready. We have the tea factory which will be done in Shinyalu. The diagrams and the BQs are ready. We'll be able to roll out as we get investors who can put in into this. We also are putting up an industrial park in Mumias West sub-county, which is going to be able to accommodate um, uh, uh, different types of industries uh, uh, which will be stationed at that particular area. In its consumer protection initiatives, the ministry has weights and measures mechanisms on petrol products, meat weighing and suitability for consumption. It has set up weigh bridges at factories and calibrations to ensure that they are in conformity with set standards so as to cushion consumers from preying traders. We protect consumers against fraudulent business people and we also promote the same traders to ensure that there is fair trade across the county. We verify traders' equipment to ensure that they are accurate so that the consumers get right quantities of measure. We also verify county standards to ensure that the standards are accurate so that the accuracy is transferred to the traders' equipment. In the process, we do maintain the standards twice annually and the traders' equipment are maintained once every year. Tunashukuru mweshmiwa governor wetu weekly from Beth of Paranya kwa kutuwekea hapa pass park na tunajua itatusaidia kama sisi wafanya kazi wa hapa biashara tunafanya. Tunashukuru mweshmiwa wetu governor of Paranya ametutoa mbali kwa sababu tulikuwa tumeusia inche kwa muda karibu wa saidi wa miaka shirini na tangu tulipoanza sokoni hapa na angili lakini tumeshukuru maana ametutoa mbali ametuchengea chengo ametusuia kwa mvua nyingi kwa jua nyingi nachukua fursa hii kumshukuru eh, governor Wycliffe Oparanya kwa kutujengea soko kusema ukweli wengi tulikuwa tunahangaika ametusaidia at least tuko na mali penye tunaweza fanyia biashara yetu with ease Kwanza ukiangalia bei ya stalls ame reduce the rent to as little as 500 shillings per month which is very much affordable kwa any business person. Nashukuru is excellent the governor kwa 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 paranya kwa kujengea watu mumia slota hii inasaidia sana imepungusa wisi wa ngombe na tumeachana na hizi zile slota salabs zilikuwa inja sawa individuals sasa watu watu wanachinjia hapa Kakamega County is a tourist destination as it boasts of various sites including Nabongo Shrines in Mumias, Ihongomri in Ilesi, and Misango Hills in Huisero, to mention but a few. The ministry has developed sports tourism through rugby, football, and famous bullfighting. It has also identified cultural tourism through fashion and food expos as a possible tourism product. Ecotourism is one other product that has been identified as the ministry intends to set up a snack park and an animal orphanage. We have identified heritage sites. There are six in number. We have the Nabongo shrines. We have the Hongomrui uh, stone. We also have uh, the Misango Hills. Uh, we have the Mawe Tattoo. 
and uh, also we we are we are keen at ensuring that uh, we develop some of the cultural products that are around to ensure that our heritage is preserved. Abu Cultural Centre initially was actually a place where we used to carry out second burial ceremonies of the kings. The kings are normally buried in the first burial place where in the palace. And then the remains are removed and brought here for the final burial. So we shall have a very big ceremony, uh, which is one of the cultural aspects of the Wanga people, the Lui or the Wanga kingdom. This centre receives very many visitors in a year. We will not say we cannot put it on a regular basis because uh, 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 we can talk about receiving many visitors because those who come in from various parts of the country and outside the country. There is no other kingdom in Kenya. There has been no other kingdom in Kenya. There is only one kingdom in Kenya and that kingdom is in Kakamega County, the second largest county in the country. They are at advanced stages of uh, cassettement because the cabinet has approved the process of cassettement. We have taken the statements of significance to the county assembly for discussion. After the discussion, we shall take them to the national uh, government for cassettement so that can also be considered as national heritage site. Sport activities have been identified. That's the rugby, which is dubbed the Ingo Sevens, and we're also going to be able to have um, uh, the bullfighting as quite key. Uh, under the bullfighting, we'll be able to look at uh, establishing a bull sport arena in Malinya. And rugby, we have secured two series which begin this year in August. Uh, the series, the seven series, one of it will be done in Kakamega in August. And again next year, we'll be able to do another series uh, to complete the Ingo Sevens. This project, Mimi Kama Moja Watua Kite, Sina Connect Pesa Pale, Na Iso Pesa Sina Saitia Mirati Kama Yakutengelesea Watu Maji. Kama ile spring tumetengeneza ili chuzi na pia tumesaitia watoto wawili pasari ya kuwasaitia shulini. Alafu hizo pesa pia tuna mpango wa kusianzishia mpango zingine ya kusaitia chami kwa uchumula. Na haya machi enye tumewatengenezea imepunguza pia machi machafu imana watu wa community wanapata machi safi. So these particular systems are very critical for us to uh, deliver service effectively.